Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart in Notion. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. So there are two types of people. The first person will go ahead and create a Gantt chart on their own. The second type of person will go to templates on the left hand side. And here you can search for a Gantt chart. So let us go ahead and search for it. So you can see over here in categories, there's a Gantt chart and we're going to go ahead and we can choose from one of these templates. OK, some of them are free. Some of them are paid. However, I think the free templates are fantastic. You can go ahead and select any which one you'd like. You're going to click on add to my workspace right over here. And then you are going to add to the workspace of your choice. Now, from here, it'll take a few seconds to just um, populate. We now have our Gantt chart. You can see over here, absolutely everything is editable within this template, including the cover picture up at the top profile image. And uh, as you go down, everything else as well. So you can see over here, this is your Gantt chart, which is your, your timeline. And then as you go down, you'll have it in a Kanban view and you can see all of the other details. Now, once you go into your actual Gantt chart, you can go and click on each one of these dates. Let's say the 10th of February to the March uh, 3rd day. And you can see here that all of these are on the timeline. Now, of course, you can go to the right hand side. You can filter out certain things. You can also change the way it's being sorted. And then uh, you can, of course, create automations within here. Let's open it as a full page and see what it looks like. That's a much better view. And then if you're going back now, you can click on these three dots and there's a few other options. So currently we're seeing it as a Gantt chart, as a timeline, but you can also change it into a chart, gallery, list, calendar, board, and a table view. All right, there's some other options here. And then you can add to as you are going through. And whatever you're clicking on, you can edit if it is a element that already exists or you can go ahead and you can create a new task and you can create new subtasks within these tasks and you can then go ahead and edit all of the details of your Gantt chart. This is absolutely amazing.